So we are going to implement um, the functionality on the items now. And there are actually more than one ways to do that. So I'm just going to talk about um, the differences between them. Basically, um, we can actually implement the functionality inside the um, item itself by getting some references or we can just directly use it on the character. So on words, it's not really um, understandable. So I'm just going to put it on practice to show you um, how it can be done. So I'm on 7 character age, and I'm just going to make a new function which will be named um, use item. So I'm doing it over here, just copying print inventory and change this to, okay, let's keep it inventory. I'm going to name it use item. I'm increasing my voice now, okay. Um, I can barely hear my own voice anyway. So um, let's just copy this and paste this too and name it use item and bring all the contents so basically um, if you are to check um, where our parachute is located it says parachute is zero so um, basically this way um, item I'm saying um, use this item and I'm gonna map every single functionality in that function so again over here I say in 32 item and within here I'm gonna say if you can make this both with ifs or cases it doesn't matter like I'm just gonna go and say um, item equals zero which is parachute then I'm gonna say this sometimes fails by the way um, activate parachute so um, by doing this I actually referencing my items with the item ID and um, mapping it like this um, let's see for other items I will just follow it like this and write here the um, other function for the other item but since um, we do not have such things right now I will skip this part and just do this and right now the question is um, why did we do this like okay we are referencing that item but we just don't know which item is activated so that will be something we will cover on our widgets but right now to have some illusionary um, functionality about it I will just um, you know some do something in a pseudo way what I'm gonna do is um, when I press 1 it will call use item and send um, send it the parameter 0 so that way I'm actually achieving the thing I'm doing but um, it will be placed on the widget itself normally so let's just wait for the compilation and wish that um, it just doesn't fuck up this time uh, The blue, this blueprint itself is not a 7 character, therefore target must have a connection, and it's actually in the blueprint, so let's see. Um, characters, greed, greed BP, where is the error? Hmm, I could not locate that. Let's just go back. Um... This blueprint is not a seven character, therefore target must have a connection. Hmm. I don't know. Like maybe this 
seventh character, seventh character, seventh character. That's weird. I have no idea actually because the things that we changed was not um, was not something that we actually make the change on. We changed other things. Let me just play it. Um, there doesn't seem to be a problem over there. Everything just works. Okay, let's just try to implement it now. So what we did was um, we did this, and I'm gonna say now um, I'm gonna call it use item, and I will do some keyboard events one, two, three, and I will remove this one because we know that it works. Actually, no, let me just undo it because we actually are going to use it. Okay, let's just pull it over here and when one is pressed, then item is zero, then when two is pressed, um, ah, come on, then the item is one, and just the same way, when three is pressed, then the item is two. So what we expect right now is, when we press one, it will work, if we don't, um, if you press 2 or 3, it should not work. So, pressing play, and what was my button? Let me just see it. It was F, I guess. But it doesn't work now. Let me just solve it. So, normally, um, when you press the button F, we were activating the parachute. But probably because of that error we had, it doesn't work right now. Let me compile it back again. See the up block. Okay, worked this time. Weird. Okay. Mm. Okay, I will pause it over here because something is broken right now and I can't actually activate my parachute, which I could before. So, um, let me pause it and get back. It took long and I was real pissed at what's going on, basically. What worked before was um, whenever I was landing, or whenever I am not falling, I was cancelling the parachute, so the parachute mode was not activated all the time, but somehow it was just um, turning my state to false, that's why I could not observe that I was using my parachute. So, um, let's just, let me just show you how it works. Normally, yeah, this is my um, parachute mode. As you can see on the left side, they are true on each tick, which is, which handles my um, parachute mode. So um, let's just quickly um, go for the use item thing because, like, it just took so much for me to um, solve this problem. So again, I need to define all of these because I removed them while I was trying to debug. Um, issue so one two three each one of them will call use item and with order zero um, use item one and use item again two so compile over here, start over there, 
now um, I won't be able to show you which button I am pressing but um, I will just tell you that which button I am pressing so I press 1 and as you see the pursuit mode is activated I press 1 again but since I did not implement anything to cancel it it just doesn't um, cancel so I press play right now I'm gonna just free fall pressing two three nothing works but um, the one button just works now so with this we actually could um, solve this issue but there is only one more thing that we need to solve and that is how we are gonna use um, the amount of items so what we are saying over here is actually um, if the item is zero we activate the pursuit let's just implement the activation part two so if um, pursuit mode and I'm gonna do it like this if pursuit mode is not enabled go activate the pursuit mode else deactivate pursuit so okay um, what I achieved on the blueprint is now implemented into um, the item method itself but right now what we are gonna do is we will um, bind it to the amount of item the quantity we have so that um, after we run out of the items we won't be able to use it so um, since it is the item itself I'm gonna say um, inventory and item so basically I'm making an item check but I'm not gonna do it over here and do it over there so I will check if I have the item before I determine which item I am trying to deal with so I'm gonna access its quantity and I'm gonna check if items quantity is greater than zero then we are allowed to use it and all the if cases will go in there and I will decrease the quantity over here again inventory item quantity minus minus so I decreased one of the quantities and then I determined um, which item I'm going to use however there is this significant problem um, on this case if we are um, using the parachute stuff actually right now um, the quantity should not decrease when we are deactivating the parachute so we can handle it like this when we are decreasing it we can just um, allow it to decrease and increase it in there so um, it will just give us the back give us um, the item that we used on the previous one back we can solve it like this and since this will be an exception it is healthy to do this however um, we could just take this into there but then on every single item we needed to decrease the quantity and it would just make some repetition so with this we just um, overcome the exception so that way we just do not repeat our code so um, we did this and I'm getting to the end of the duration of the video so um, I need to print out um, the amount of items we have in order to see um, if you are able to use the parachute or not and I should also tell you that um, I cancelled how to say oh okay I found another bug in my mind I will get to it too and I will just do all of them on the next video see you till then